are at Toro, and today we're talking paella. So, tell me a little bit about the basics of what even paella is for the uninitiated. Paella is, I mean, it's named after the pan. It's all about the pan. Paella pan is the most important part of making a paella. The second thing is heat. You've got to be really, really hot to make a paella. And the great thing about paella is, depending on which region you're from, it could be anything. So it can be rabbit and snails, it can be lobster, it can be just cuttlefish. Again, it's all with rustic peasant roots to it. And what are the biggest mistakes that you see when people make paella at home? I think the most common mistake that I see, people just use the wrong rice. There's nothing worse when people make paella with like, you know, long grain rice or Uncle Ben's rice. And they're great rices, right. but you know, not they're not, not for paella. Wonderful. So what is the paella we're making today? We're making paella valenciana. Wonderful. Will you show us the steps? Absolutely. So the first step for getting the paella started is getting a fair amount of olive oil in the pan. Uh, and then we're gonna start off with a little bit of garlic. Really want a hot, hot, intense fire. For the restaurant, we add a little bit of onions that we've already really slowly cooked. So we've got garlic, we have slow cooked onions, I added some chorizo. We're, we're gonna finish it with the tops of scallions, but the whites of scallions are really great braised into that. So we'll add that in there as well. A little bit of diced bell pepper. And a lot of people rush sometimes putting, uh, putting the ingredients, they'll jam everything in at one time. You have to make sure that uh, you get all the flavors out of the garlic, all the flavors out of the onions, all the flavors out of the bell peppers, so you don't have a paella that has half raw ingredients and half cooked ingredients. So next we're gonna add sofrito. Sofrito can be made out of any vegetable. Most commonly it's made out of tomatoes. So you take like something like tomato paste, cook it down with onions and lots of uh, garlic and olive oil until it changes color and gets a little bit darker, a little bit richer, and we'll use that to kind of make the paella a little bit more unctuous. Okay, we're also going to add a little bit of pimenton, which is uh, smoked paprika. A little espalette pepper, too. And now we're ready for the rice. For the rice, we use kalaspara, or like a short grain bomba style rice. And you have to make sure that you coat each grain like when making a risotto. Uh, like Whenever we make paella, we always use chicken thighs, boneless. It's easier to share, you don't have to fiddle around with a bone. And as it braises, it, it stays nice and moist. So we added the clams. Now we're adding some, some of the stocks. For every cup of rice you use, you want to use about five cups of liquid over high heat. You still have uh, saffron. Now that you've added everything, you don't stir. What happens is the paella, as it's cooking, develops a little bit of meniscus on top that locks everything in, and that's what seals the juiciness of the rice. So this will cook now for about a half an hour just below a simmer. One of the really important things about paella is if you're not stirring it, is every couple of minutes to rotate it. You want to just keep turning it to make sure you get an even socarat. Socarat is that like stickiness, that caramelization of the rice in the bottom of the pan. After about 15 or so minutes, we're going to start to add some of the other shellfish that doesn't need to cook as long. When you're running out of liquid, you know you're getting close to uh, the paella getting close. It's been about a half an hour and this paella is ready. It's good to go. Okay, so we'll drizzle it a little bit of olive oil. You can tell from the sound that it's ready. You can hear the big bubbles. Then you want to let our paella, after it's cooked, you want to let it sit for four or five minutes. When you look at the pan, when it stops bubbling, it's ready to eat. Thanks so much for watching. This is our Paella Valenciana from Toro NYC.